It's uh, a pleasure to be able to speak with you today about September 11th Families for Peaceful Tomorrows and the long relationship um, we've had with the Peace Abbey, the two organizations. And I'd like to start with starting, I think you, your organization was formed in 2002. And in 2003, we invited Peaceful Tomorrows to come and to have a retreat here at the Peace Abbey. And at that time, we met some of the members who were active at that time. And it was a really wonderful uh, kind of a, a, a joy to have people sit at the table. We did the passing of the um, blessing bowl and we played the music that Christina Olson had created for her sister and we made friends. And that kind of continued over the years. And in 2004, uh, we were contacted by Peaceful Tomorrows to take part in Stonewalk. And Stonewalk was created by the Peace Abbey to bring um, attention to the number of civilians that are killed as a result of war. And so 2004, it was the time of the conventions and we moved the stone from Boston to New York following the, the flight of the planes that hit the towers. And we also carried the New York Times book with some of the, um, you know, little epitaphs that were written by family members about their friends and family who were killed that day. Um, the closer we got to New York, the more emotional it became because there were more and more people that came out and Stonewalk, um, you know, before we would start a particular day, we would put our hands on the stone. And then after that, family members would begin to tell stories of their loved ones. And one story that, that, that one couple, it was a, um, a mother and her son that really um, touched me very deeply because the mother told the story of her husband who had invited his sister to come and visit where he worked. And the two of them were there in the building and realized they wouldn't get out and had called and had talked with them. And so it was very emotional. And the son was, uh, had disabilities. And so um, because we have the, the Peace Abbey is connected to the Life Experience School that has a program for individuals with disabilities, was especially moving for me. And they pulled the stone for a little bit. And uh, that was a very special moment. Peaceful Tomorrows is a wonderful organization. Um, I'm totally inspired by uh, the people that are involved and their commitment to peace, social justice, and nonviolence. It's really, really about um, not wanting revenge. When I heard that they had formed that, that kind of an organization, I thought, well, this is what the Peace Abbey is about. It's not about revenge. It's about, um, you know, seeing that, you know, war is not going to bring about any kind of a solution, but more suffering. And so this organization understands that. And we, you know, the Stonewalk in, on, in 2004 ended up in New York City. Um, we actually brought the stone into St. John the Divine and also into Riverside Church. And we met the uh, Japanese peace boat director. And he said, you must bring that stone to Japan next year because it's the 60th anniversary of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And so Andrea LeBlanc from Peaceful Tomorrows and myself went to Japan. We met with the Japanese. They said it's impossible. And we decided, being mothers and grandmothers, no, it's not impossible. <laughs> and so it did take place. And it was um, a most amazing, wonderful journey. And the Japanese so loved it at the end, they didn't want the stone to go back. So that stone remains in Hiroshima. And they take very good care of it. They send us pictures every year. So that was wonderful, you know, that Peaceful Tomorrows, you know, had kind of initiated 2004, and this resulted in 2005. And then the Japanese decided that they would do the same thing for Korea and make an apology. Uh, Peaceful Tomorrows had written up an apology for the Japanese because governments don't apologize, people do. 
And so they were so moved by that that they built a case on a cot to carry the stone with the same inscription with um, the Korean language. And um, we carried that. Uh, we, Andrea and I went the last two weeks, but they carried it all through Korea and apologized to the Koreans. So that was, again, another remarkable journey. So Peaceful Tomorrows has, uh, I think they've, they've really, the individual members, certainly I have new friends because of meeting um, the members, some of the members, and uh, they have wonderful attitude towards life. And it, I think it comes from that belief in not wanting revenge, but wanting there to be peace in the world, and it starts with each one of us, which is definitely what we believe at the Peace Abbey. And Stonewalk, um, you know, if anyone is interested in, in the Peace Abbey, uh, as well as Peaceful Tomorrows, you can go on our website, um, peaceabbey.org. You can look at Stonewalk and all the pictures from uh, all of the Stonewalks from 1999 through 2007. So once again, thank you so much for this opportunity to say a few words and um, to send my love to all the members and as we approach the 10th anniversary.